salvage one here in Philly? Yeah, uh, it didn't start off very good. Um, you know, it felt you know flat. I, I felt like, but the guys kept playing, and then we were able to you know kick some runs on and, and get back in it. Uh, you know, that really I think kept the guys in the game. The bullpen did a nice job coming in and you know kind of closing the door. With the mathematics not in your favor, is that is that the tricky part? Is to make sure you keep that that pace up if you can. A little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you know, guys know you're not mathematically eliminated, but they also know that you know you're not in a great spot. So I think, you know, you see your season kind of hopes fading a little bit, and so it gets harder and harder. You know, there's going to be certain guys that battle, battle, push, push, and then you'll have other guys that give in, and and that's what you're really fighting to, you know, keep your club playing. Does a win like this kind of help propel that, though, keep the season going? I think so. Um, I think the fact that guys keep playing and it and it shows us all that you just got to keep going, and that's really what we've talked about all year. This is... Um, you know, an exercise in continuing to play hard every day, no matter what the what the circumstances. Uh, you should be playing the same way all the time. Dale's got strike zone, obviously, was an issue. It looked like for both teams. Um, I mean, what did you say to him after uh, Prado got thrown out? I just felt like, you know, I, there was meetings in spring training about, um, you know, the umpires were going to keep guys in games. Throwing equipment was going to cost you money, but it wasn't going to get you thrown out of a game and. And that's the one thing. If you know Martin, he's he gets mad at himself. He's very tough on himself. So I know he's frustrated, and you know and he's throwing equipment. So I was just basically trying to. Well, it didn't matter at, at that point when I got out there. But you know, I, I just know that see, at least that what I've taken from it in those meetings is that you know you, the umpires are supposed to try to keep guys in the game. Uh, so when they throw equipment and things like that, and Dale must have thought he went over the line as well. Andrew, a couple of runs in the first, but overall, talk about his start and kind of kind of slow down that at first a little bit. Well, a lot of pitches, and uh, you know, hung in there. Uh, I could have, I guess, he could have gave in. He was over thirty in the first, <clears throat> and over sixty after two. Uh, so you know, I, think, I still think he's over ninety after four. So I mean, it's not exactly like, um, but he he did hang in there and keep pitching and not just giving in to that. Uh, knowing that you know his chances of really getting deep into a game are are gone early, uh, but he did keep us there. And then you know uh, I thought Austin came in did a nice job from there, and then our bullpen guys did a pretty nice job for us. Yelly's yeah, been struggling a little. Got the big hit. Yeah, Yelly, we've been pushing him hard. He's a lot like Martin. You know those those two, along with JT, for the most part, uh, have just been playing every day, every day, every day. You know down the stretch here, pushing those guys. And he has looked tired, uh, I think, as of late. This kid's a really good hitter, and he's. Um, this is probably, you know, you talk about pitchers pitching deep into a season uh, and things like that, you know, for the first time. I mean, I think a lot of our guys, this is the first time we've really, it's been trying, you know, getting in that dog world of trying to win a game every day, every day, every game matters. And that, and honestly, if you're preparing properly, it wears you out. And so uh, you see a little bit of that in the league, just getting worn down a little bit. With the bullpen overall this weekend, not a ton of innings from the starters, but a lot of bodies in the bullpen and a, a lot of effectiveness, it seems. Was that what you saw as well? Yeah, it's uh, those guys have did a, I, I think, all year long. I think we, we don't have a complete game, and we probably don't have a ton of games where we've won even seven. So those guys have been asked to give us a lot of innings. Uh, you know, with extra bodies out there, we've been able to, Look at a couple of guys. We've been able to see uh, Austin and and Ellington a little bit more. See Ogando some, and kind of get a little little glimpse of of the future for us. And they did a nice job because the games are still games that we're trying. You know, obviously trying to win every one of them. And they're they've been put in some spots that that are big spots. And uh, I think it's just just going to help us, you know, going forward. You put JT in a pinch hit. He winds up getting the game winning infield hit. For you. Yeah, uh, it's one of those situations. He's gonna get in a day. If he if he probably if he wouldn't have got the last half of that game off last night, uh, you know I'm not sure I'd do it right there. Uh, but with getting that last half off last night, we thought you know if we if we hit him right there, he got a chance of getting two at bats, and it ended up being two at bats. So it, would, it ended up working out for us. What is Rodney's standing in the bullpen right now? Uh, you know he's one of our guys at the end of the game. After the other day, I think. You know, he struggled. I told him I was going to give him, get him back out there in an inning that really wasn't on the line. I couldn't do that the other night in that game. But 
you know, I thought he came out of that with flying colors from the standpoint he's been working on, you know, we felt like he was tipping. He's been working on that in his flat grounds and, and, and doing some little things technique wise differently. And he threw the ball good. So, you know, he's kind of back out there, you know, amongst our back end guys, um, going to really protect claw down the stretch in his last few games. Uh, you know, I want to keep seeing Phelps out there and, 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 um, you know, Fernando will be part of that mix too out there at the end of the game.